In this video, I will show you how anyone can make a video of an AIB girl. First of all, this is the basic knowledge of making a video of an AIB girl. First of all, a video is like a collection of still images. Uh, I think I used to draw a stick figure on the upper right of the textbook when I was in elementary school and did something like Parabara Manga. In the same principle, the YouTube videos you are watching are displayed with 30 or 50 photos per second. I'm going to use the same principle to create an AIB girl this time. Then I will introduce the procedure immediately. First of all, I will introduce the procedure. This time, we will build an environment for the Stability Fusion Web UI. First, open the notebook. After opening the notebook, click Create New Environment. There is a tab called GitHub here, so I will enter the password here. This time, I will enter this URL because I want to use this person's Google collaboration. Please copy and paste this URL. I will also put this URL in the summary section. This time, please click the URL below. Then the copy is complete and the environment is ready to run. The next thing I want you to do is to click the play button in order from the top. Then I will do it. I was able to connect to Google Drive now. Next, I will install the second process. When this is done, you can create an SD folder called My Drive. It looks like there is a web UI package in this SD folder. Let's move on. Next, click Requirements. Requirements is also done. Next, I would like to download the model, but this time I would like to download Berry 6. It is a model that is good at outputting natural Asian images. I would like to download it by specifying the version ID here. Please set the version ID here. Then click the play button. You can ignore this download roller. This time I want to use control net, so please set all here as well. Then click the play button. Now the download of control net is complete. It took 5 minutes this time, but if you run control net and download the model first, you don't need to download it after the second time. I would like to see the downloaded folder. This time, open the Stable Diffusion Web UI and click Stable Diffusion in Models. There is a file called v 6 safesource If this is there, the download of the model will be completed. If you want to use another model, you can download it locally from Civit AI or other sites. Once you download this model to your computer and upload it here, you will be able to use the model. Let's run the next one. Then click the play button. Now it's connected. Once it's connected, click the running on public URL. Next, I would like you to download the extension called Evsynth Utility from the extension tab. The download method is to copy and paste the URL of this page that you opened earlier in this install from URL. That's all. You don't have to set it up in particular. Then install. While waiting for this install, I'm going to install the external tool of Fsynth. This is the website of Fsynth. If you click the download button here, you can download it with Mac and Windows. Now the download of Fsynth is complete. I'll use this at the end, so I'll leave it alone for now. Let's move on to the next step. Now that the installation of Fsynth Utility is complete, the first thing I want you to do is restart it. If you don't restart it, you won't be able to read the extension of Fsynth, so this is a must. Now if you see Fsynth Utility in this tab, the setup is complete. Now all the running environments are set up. Let's move on to the next step. In the next step, open the Fsynth Utility tab above. 
FSynth Utility is a tool that stores frames. It goes from stage 1 to stage 8. By doing this step by step, AI visuals will be back turned. The first thing I want you to do is create a project directory. I want you to create the directory directly under the SD folder you just created. Right click here and select a new folder. This time I'll make it an SRC folder. SRC is a folder that stores photos and video files in the sense of a source. Upload the original video here. Now that the upload is complete, I would like to copy the path called the SRC folder. This is the project directory, so copy and paste here. Next, click on the original movie path you just uploaded. It looks like this. If you go to the bottom right, there is a button called Generate, so click here. I clicked. If you click on it, you can see a list of characters like this. Let's wait a little bit until the processing is complete. Now the processing is complete. If you see the word complete here, it means that the processing is complete. The SRC folder displays a video frame and a video mask. If you look here, you can see that the video has changed to a photo. The background of the next video mask is black and only the character is taken in black and white. Let's go next. This is the next stage too. This is the process of outputting a keyframe from the frame you just created. Click on the next step, stage 2. Click on the next configuration and click on stage 2. This time the maximum keyframe gap is 10 but set it to 5. When this setting is complete, click generate again. Let's do it next. This is stage 3 but it is an image to image keyframe number. There is a process of creating AI visuals first, but this time I will use VRA. Please select this. This prompt is also in the summary section, so please use it. Upload the keyframe you downloaded earlier to this image to image. This time let's download these three keyframes and try them. Let's use the first photo we downloaded earlier to verify it first. After uploading it here, I would like you to set the sampling method. This time I will use DPM plus Stuum Crow. Next, click on the triangle button called Resize 2. By clicking on this triangle button, it will resize to the original size. This time I will set the batch count to 5. This batch count is the setting of how many images will be output. The most important thing in this process is denoising strength. The closer it is to zero, the more faithfully it reproduces the original image. On the contrary, as you get closer to one, you will be set away from the original image. This time let's set it around 5. Next, click on the control net and click on enable. Click on Pixel Perfect as well. There are various models to use this time, but this model called Gani is a model that extracts the outline of the input image and generates the image. Don't set this up in particular. Finally, click on Control Net is more important in Control Mode. Now that the settings are complete, let's generate the image. It's coming out pretty well. Let's try another image. The output looks pretty good. I think this model will work. I want to use this one this time, so I'm going to fix the seed value and set it to reference only based on this image. Fix the seed value and upload this.
The next thing I want you to do is set it to reference only, but this time click on the reference from the control net. Upload the reference to the upload independent control image. I'm going to use this girl this time, so I'm going to download this. I'd like to see if I can get the same girl with this, so I'm going to use another image. If this image and this face match, it will be successful. Generate. My hands are starting to feel a little bad, so I'm going to change the denoising strength a little bit. If I set this to 0.35, I think I can express the blurring of my hands well. Here it is. Then click generate. It looks good. I can also express the feeling of this hand. The girl's face hasn't changed in the same way. Now the setting is complete. The next thing I want you to do is to go down here. There's a script, so click on everything's utility from here. If you click on this, you'll see project directory at the bottom. Copy the SRC folder you just created. Paste it here. By pasting this project directory, the face will be converted to all the keyframes in this folder called video key. Now that this setting is complete, click Generate. If you click Generate and run the process, a folder called Image to Image Key will be created here. It will be a flow of photos with keyframes being stored here. It's stored nicely. Let's wait a minute. Now the processing is complete. It's been converted nicely. Let's move on to the next step. I don't think we need to do 3.5 and 4 this time, so I'll delete them. I'd like to move on to the next step, which is stage 5. Click stage 5 and click generate at the bottom. Once this click is complete, an EBS file will be output. It's output here. This EBS file will be used in the next Absinth Live tool. Let's open the downloaded Absinthe. This is what it looks like when you open it. This time I'm using Google Collab, so I need to download the SRC folder I just output locally. Let's download this folder. I think this will take a while. Let's wait a minute. Now the SRC folder has been downloaded. The next thing I want you to do is open this Absinthe app. It's like storing frames for each of these EBS files. The way to do it is to copy and paste the first 00 of this absinthe. Then the character list will be displayed like this. Once this is displayed, click the run all at the bottom right. Then the processing will be executed. Let's wait a minute. Now the processing is complete. It took a long time. After all, there are about 4 EBS files. Each of these four will be copied and pasted one by one and executed. I think it took about an hour. The output file is out here. This is the output file. If you look inside, you can see the images stored in the frame. This is the output file. Please upload it to Google Drive again. Please copy this. Copy this out folder and upload it directly under this SRC folder. This also takes a little time. Let's wait a minute. Now the upload has been completed to Google Drive. I would like to go to the next step. Open Stable Diffusion and click Stage 7. If you click Stage 7, you will see MP4. Please click Generate without changing the settings here. By clicking this generate, the output file will be connected. The output file will be a video file. 
Let's wait for the output. Yes, the output has been completed. If this is completed at the end, the output will be completed. Let's take a look at the output video. How was today's video? This channel posts videos based on AI and ChatGPT once a week, so please subscribe to our channel and give us a high rating.